speed of vine, central mass vapors. <laughs> So anyways, today I'm going to be going to see my friend play darts. I don't think we're playing darts this half because our team like decided that they weren't going to play anymore. So now it's too late to get into a team, but that's okay. Because now I can utilize my Tuesday nights for making more videos. <laughs> so anyways, get to the point, Chris. What's the problem? So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that's been on my mind and something fabulous. So remember a couple weeks ago um, when I did a big huge video about my all day vape and how excited I was and it was Nambra Juices, Donut Pounder, etc, etc. Well, I have to do a follow up video and I'm not happy about it. But I gotta be true to myself and to my viewers and give everybody the right information because I know plenty of people that commented were like, oh my god, I can't wait to try it. So, I totally think you should still try it. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. However, this, um, I went out and bought another bottle because my first bottle uh, was gone in like maybe two days. I was seriously vaping this like nuts. Second bottle, I'm telling you, there's a little inconsistency in the Amber Juice peoples, I think. Because the first bottle I ever got wasn't great until it steeped for a little bit. The second bottle I got was like banging out of the gate. The third bottle was banging out of the gate. And in this one, I understand maybe if it needs to steep, which it has been. However, I'm getting a, like, a, it's very harsh in my throat. Almost like as if there was like 12 or 24 Nick in here. You know, it's got a very, very harsh throat hit. Both the bottles we got, because we got two bottles, one for me, one for Amanda. And I'm very disappointed because I have not been able to enjoy this bottle at all. So that sucks. So please, if you do go and buy Namor Juice, let it steep regardless of how it smells or whatever. Um, it does come in these nice dark bottles, so steeping is not that big of a deal. I mean, it will, the sun ain't going to go through that anyway. And I used to work in plastics, and that's pretty dark. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's one part. Two parts. This isn't a juice time with Crispy Divine or anything. This is kind of like just a little ramble vlog type of thing about what's been going on with me. I've been in a juice funk. Like, if you go back to my first videos, I was like in a juice funk. But that was before I was like ordering juice from other people, right? I was ordering just from like Mount Bigger Vapor and that's it. Now I'm ordering from other people, but I'm still coming up a little short. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, one, when you get a good juice, right? that like kicks you in the face and says, oh my God, it's so good, and your eyes fall out, and you do the foolish Rashad, that shit, and you're just like, mm, 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 that's so good, you know that fucking face, right? When you then finish that bottle and you go to something that you do like or whatever, but it's not that, Arr! you get depressed. I mean, I'm sorry, it's sad, okay? <laughs> So Donut Pounder was one. I finished that bottle. I was in heaven. Then I got the second bottle. I was supposed to be in heaven again, and I ended up not being in heaven. Then I got Strawberry Circus, which I tasted in Amanda's Strawberry Circus. That sounds awful, but you know what I mean. And I thought it was great, so I got the EpiClouds version, and it's good, but the flavor isn't the same as it was before. Inconsistencies. It's a problem. So... So, back to the juice. So I'm at a point where I've been extremely happy with juice, okay? First I had my donut pounder experience, heaven. I've got my nostalgia, which out of all the, out of, what, of all the um, Namber juices, the nostalgia was badass right off the bat, and I'm fine with that. Uh, but I had Beantown Vapor with their O-Face. I mean, come on, this shit was fucking amazing. I'm still thinking about it. Also, I had Obsession, Fame, another no-brainer. This stuff was amazing. So, and I didn't know this was a big thing, but people take flavors and mix them to different flavors. And I always thought, what a silly idea. You're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin it. But guess what? You don't ruin it. Well, I suppose you could ruin it. I mean, I'm not going to put key lime pie with Donut Pounder, but uh, basically what I did was, here's this, okay? So I bought a bottle of OB by Suicide Bunny. Not super my favorite by any means, but 
it's kind of like a clean flavor. There's no crazy flavors in it. It's just creamy and um, kind of, um, you know, custardy and whatnot. So I like that. That's my nice start plate, right? Then I added about 10 drops of Belgian cocoa by Halo. Then I also added about six drops of cinnamon roll from Mount Baker Vapor. So I'm basically saying to, my, to me, I have a custard base, I have a little bit of that cinnamon that I love, and then I have um, some of that nice cocoa dark chocolate, or cocoa chocolate Tootsie Roll flavor, right? So I get it home, I'm rocking it, it's tasting good, but I'm like, what is missing out of this, okay? So then I look down and I have Beantown Vapor O-Face, like that much, and I'm like, what am I going to do with it? Can't put it in a K-Fun, I'm not going to put it in my magma, I, I don't want to drip it because I feel like it's just... I'm gonna get going on it and then I'm gonna fucking not have it. So I added the rest to this. And so far, it's yummy. I've got that custard, I've got that nice fresh strawberry flavor, and then comes through just that little bit of spiciness from the cinnamon, and then of course that really like nice cocoa chocolate flavor. So in essence, it's kind of like you, you know, vaping like a chocolate uh, cake with those strawberries in the middle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I locked it. <laughs> that Boston uh, Beantown Vapor is really coming through right now. But then the creaminess of the OB and the milkiness, which I know that word is so icky, of the Beantown Vapor is working phenomenally. And then right on the outside, like on the tip of my tongues and on the back of my throat, I'm getting that nice chocolate. The cinnamon is kind of lost, but I didn't add that much and that's okay. I'm okay with it. Are you okay with that? Let's move on. So another one that I was like oh, so upset that I didn't have anymore was fame. I'm gonna live forever because I love it. It's so good. Coconut, strawberry, I think orange or pineapple, something. It is so good. And like every time you vape it, you have a different flavor. Sometimes it's coconut, sometimes it's pineapple, sometimes it's this, that, and the other thing, and it makes me so happy. Well, guess what? I only had like that much. So I had just bought a bottle of Shocker by it's Cosmic Fog. It's lemon, it's uh, mango, it's strawberry, it's lemonade, hints of lime, whatever. And I was like, you know what? I think I could do something with that. I think that if I added the rest of my fame to the bottle of Shocker, which in, in hindsight I probably should have just added a little bit, I bet I could get and achieve the flavor that I am looking for. So with that said, let me just take off the this lovely spirit tripper, courtesy of the vaping atheist or atheist vaping, vapist atheist. My friend, he's so funny. He's so he's gotten so big. I mean, he's got like he's up to like two thousand, not like fat. He's got like up to like two thousand subscribers. I mean, good for him. But that's kid. I'm telling you, he. I mean, he goes to school. I know he's got a job, and he fucking makes tons of videos. He's just a busy little beaver. Very, very, very go getter type. Love that. So let's go. He's also really young, so he's got the energy. <laughs> like I'm. Just, oh, look what I'm doing. <laughs> all right i got my helios i got a build on it let's go with my little so that spicy lemonade or whatever word i want to the very it's not a sour lemonade the, the sour i would have dug it it's still very present i mean that's what i didn't like about shocker it's very like lemon 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 and i think it's good but it needs to be toned down a little bit which is funny because all the other cosmic fog flavors like milk and honey, church, and whatever, they're all like subtle flavors of like an ice cream sundae, which it was sounds delicious, you know? But with their shocker, it's like bam, fucking lemonade. So I'm it's hard to get that flavor out of there. Or at least kind of blend it in. Yeah, definitely a doable uh vape. So I'm pretty pretty happy with it. So um but I am going to go back to my other one because I like that one better. And I think, what I think I need to do is on the fame mix, what I think I might do is one, either try to think of another flavor that could bring out that flavor of the fame that I really like, or um, just leave it alone and see what happens, you know.
delicious. Delicious. So, anyways, guys, I covered some of my juices that I've been kind of playing with, so don't be afraid to play with your juice, especially when you have juices just laying around that's not doing anything for anybody. I've got other couple mixes that I've been working on, and we'll go over those another time. Other than that, I'm going to finish my apple beer, and I'm going to go to darts and have a couple more and see how I can fly away into a tree. No, I don't want to go into a tree. That's a horrible idea. Um, but, uh, yeah, so anyways, thanks a lot for calling and talking to me and having fun with me, and I think you're all just super. Goodbye. <whistles> Stay fabulous.